What is up guys, Video Game Jay and Poop again, back with more Banjo Dewey! And in the last episode, we have tackled on Witchy World, uh, which is like a theme park world for Banjo Tooie. In this episode, we're gonna do more of Banjo Tooie. Uh, this time, we're gonna go to this place, right here, Tooie Lagoony. Alright, and, and, we are in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So no, it's not Jolly Roger Bay from Super Mario 64, it's Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This is a doom load. They are only currency accepted in Johnny Rogers Lagoon! Yeah, that's cool. So we can only use them here. So we just gotta... Uh, use these here then. So we just gotta get these coins. And then, there's piggies, there's pigs here. <laughs> that one's got three arms there. And I think in... I've heard that in the Japanese version, he only has like two arms. Like, I played the Japanese version myself, and I've not even noticed that. I don't think I have anyway. So, maybe it's the cutting room floor or something? I don't know. But, I'll have to check that out one day anyway. Um, but anyways, let's get more of these doubloons. Right here. There's a note here, and this place. Yeah, some ginger beer here. Jollies. Oh, hello there. I'm Jolly Roger, town mayor and proper day of this lovely harbour siding. We like a ginger beer, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less on that jolly at the moment, as my partner's gone missing. That's a shame. Now how about that drink? Kazooie. Oh, sorry. Where did you last see her? She was out and on an earthquake earlier yesterday evening. I heard a big gumping noise, and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea. Oh, I hope not. It's happy you're soon, and it'll be needing some help. Would you like to rent a room? Two dooblings? Well, we don't really need the dooblings, so might as well. You can also destroy the door as well, which is what most people do. Uh, because... You only end up with two doublings you don't need to spend anyway. Or four if you destroy that. Cheers, but how about you put some sleep while my butt is still missing? Alright. Now, what, here, this is what you gotta do here. You gotta destroy this gunpowder thing. And then, BOOM! Then you can go out that side. Very important you do that. We get these notes right here. We've got 400 notes now. And right here, um, got a jam jars here. And we got a sub aqua aim, uh, egg aiming. So this time, it's the similar to the airborne one, but this time while we're swimming, we can do it. And right here, we meet Captain Black Eye. Hey boss there, you scurvy dogs! I'm Captain Black Eye for your pirate and scourge of the seas! You're looking a bit tad wobbly there, Blackie. Racist, Banjo! Just a touch of seasickness! Yeah. Seasick? Some pirates you are! Watch your tongue, buzzard! Banjo! You sounded extremely racist when you said that. <laughs> oh my god. Blackie, really? That's like a racial slur, I think. I don't know. Like, I know it's based on his name, but still, it sounds like a racial slur. Shiver me timbers! The seasick tablets Jolly gave me are mighty useless! Splice the main brace one more press all that the button and I'll run you through! Right, I'll slit ya. Oh, me poor stomach. Just take these door balloons and fetch me another glass of water. Uh, we're not gonna give you water because you're drunk. Pirates are always drunk. And then he's just gonna, just gonna fall over like that. And then the other quotes you'll have is just referencing Dream, the game that was cancelled before it became Banjo Kazooie. We'll just reference that. Uh, and there's one more of those here. There's just another one of those, right. Oh, we also need to explode this thing! Oh, it has to be this side. There we go! How many doobloons have we got? Oh yeah, um... We need to split up for a few of these. 
for a few doubloons. Because some of them you can only get. Well, not some of them, but like there's a move we're about to get with Kazooie. And you have to be Kazooie only to get it. Alright, we got nine, so we'll have enough for some stuff. Right, let's get these ones here. And there's also a Jam Jars thing here. Alright, and we got the Wing Whack. So this is Kazooie's move. So this only Kazooie uses this, and it's this. You can also use it when you're in the air. And then float, so making this also broken. Yeah, Banjo Tooie is always broken. Right, there's another thing. Um, right. Well, of course we need to. Uh, of course we need to do the mumbo thing. But there's also the doubloons here, and also here. Right here, there we go. We can open that passage for next time. Um. All right, there we go. And I believe. Oh yeah, uh, these doubloons you can only get with Kazooie. Because Kazooie jumps higher with the shock pad. Because he doesn't have banjo with her. We've got 20 doubloons. Uh, so let's go back on banjo. And let's go spend them somewhere. Uh, let's go here first. The wave pacer something. I can read that properly. Blubber's wave race higher than Ahoy there, little baby shipmate Captain Blubber, how are you going, me hobbies? Bit of a hard day, really. Ah, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and find things. Be standing around, though. How's business, Blubber guys? No good, land lovers. All my wave races are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we can lend you a doobloom or two. Nah, shipmates. Damn, so you at least. How about it? You want my last profession of one doom? Oh, it is just one. Ah, oh, it is good, Banjo. Uh, look at this crate. Thanks, your sheep, mate. Thousand doobloons, oh god. And there's more notes here you can get. There's more notes you can get here. And then. Then there's something else you can get here. I think I think there's a ginger you can get here as well. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a brown ginger. Okay, and I fell down. All right, there we go. We got the brown poo ginger. All right. And we need these running shoes for this next part. To get to get a gin, another ginger right here. So there's another ginger you can get here. You have to use the running shoes for this. You can also get other doubloons here as well. And this water right here is the main part. You go down here, but you're gonna drown a lot. And there's no bubbles, so this is when Mumbo comes in. And you'll see in a moment. Right, let's go to another place. Alright. We have Pornos. Greeting friends, this is Porno, I'm a local pawnbroker. We're interested in that cheeky in the case. Ah, uh, yes, a real nice piece, like a banjo kazooie, uh, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold doublings would do with me. 20 doublings? We only want the jiggy, not your whole shop. Hmm. It's still 20 doublings for that jiggy, would you like to buy it? What do you say? Arr, I say. Right, friend, let's see some gold. <laughs> Alright. A place of doing business, help yourselves. It says 12 there. <laughs> then boom. We just got the jiggy. And then we need two more to get another thing that you can get here. It's a cheetah page. First the globo here. But we have to find the doubloon somewhere else. So we'll go and get that in a moment. Right, let's go here. 
Go. Oh, come on, Banjo! You get stuck there. There we go. We go here. We go here. Uh, just peck him there. There we go. And there's a honeycomb piece there. And I, I forgot to go to Honeybee lately. Or maybe I might have not have enough anyway, so we'll go to uh, uh after this place. Uh, well, go to her. Alright, we've got seven, so... Alright, then we need to go down here. Uh, this signpost don't matter. But we need to go down here to drill this. And then we're in another world entirely here. We're in the basement somewhere. But what you need to do here is you need to press this button right here so that that gets rid of the toxic waste that goes in the water where the pigs want to swim. Oh god, I was breathing heavily when I was doing that voice. And you hear a Jinjo in here, but it is a Minjo, so it's not a Jinjo. Nothing else we can do here. Let's go in the water. <coughs> oh, God. And there's more Dooblooms here. And these are the last two. No, the last four here. Okay. So, we only need five. And then, we've done with... You got all the Dooblooms! Well done! Just for that! You can have a new game of picture. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, for your for my Xbox 360 profile, probably. Um, and of course, the two are useless that you got there. You don't really need that more. We just need five more for this geopage. Hello again. How much for the worthless old page? Uh, look, there's my thing. I still the base comes from the legendary geo book. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doomlooms right now. I don't get quasi like that every day. So I say. Well, come back. The main is still available if you want it. I'm sorry, it might be still. It'll still be five doomlooms. What do you want to say? Arrgh! Wait, let's see them the gold. Okay. At least in doing business, please help yourselves. Like, it still says 12 on his, um, on his counter. Like, come on. It never changes. Then, the Geo page. And then it says BK there. Perhaps it's a box of Banjo-Kazooie cartridges or something. Or VH chess tapes of, like, trailers of Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know. Right, there's one more thing I'm gonna do. And we'll need Kazooie for this. Now... Now, it's a Jiggy we're not supposed to get yet, uh, but I'm going to try and get it, because you know what I'm like. So we need these, um, you could also whack like that. We need these uh, boots right here, and then what I'm going to do, remember that gas thing we uh, took out that we exploded right here? Well, we go here, and we go down here, and we're in this cave. Smuggler's cabin. And then, will I get it? Yes! First try! We got a Jiggy that we're not supposed to get yet. Oh my god. I got a Jiggy. Yes. Yeah, you're not supposed to get that. You're supposed to get that Jiggy, like, way later in the game. But, because of that trick, we got it now. So... Let's go back with Banjo there. And then... Then we go... Around here. Mumbo Skull. Welcome. Okay. Be your magic creep to my mo if one help. Yes! I'm surprised it doesn't say R here, unlike when you and sort of the questions in this place. And this mumbo is very important. Unless you have a cheat code which allows infinite infinite air, then this is pretty much pointless. But because on Xbox, obviously, 
the cheat codes will erase your save file and no score will be added to the leaderboard. I think it also disables your achievements as well when you want to get them, when you don't have them. So, but it is, this is what you definitely need to do on Xbox. Hope this works. And oxygenated water. So that means you can breathe in this water, regardless. Bumbo shine right on black. Now it's plenty of oxygen. Bear and bird, no need to hold breath in there now. It's strange because it's still water. It's so weird. Because every other water in the game, you can still drown in. Even if you do it on this one, you'll still drown in every other water in different worlds. So... Right, let's go back. And that's all we need Mumbo for here. It's not needed for anything else. And then that way is like a Jiggy we have to get later and with Kazooie only. So let's go in the water then, shall we? Let's go in here. And because we have the fast swimming, this is much easier. And also we have the egg game in now. And then the music changes. Welcome to Atlantis. Which is another part of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Alright, oh come on. Get that note, there we go. There's another note you can get here. And then, we go down here, and then me and Octopus. Now you use the ice, use the ice eggs right here, to then shoot the eyes, to then freeze it. And if you freeze all of them in this place, then you get an achievement for Xbox. So, but of course I've already got that. I've already got all achievements for this game, so, along with Kazooie. So, we don't really need to do that. And there's more notes here, so... So, you gotta... So, the Atlantis part of Jolly Rogers Lagoon is the biggest you would use here, so... Uh, we're gonna go here. And then here... Secret Honeycomb piece! Then, there's a treble clef here. Right, and then, treble clef here. And yeah, I think we've got all notes here, I believe. I think we have anyway. <laughs> and I like how they're having a ripple effect there when you pause. Yeah, we've got all notes. Um, so yeah, we've got one more Jam Jars move, uh, which we will learn here eventually. I think we go here this place here. I think that's where you learn it. Yeah, because it's open. Yeah, you go here. Oh wait, no you don't. Uh, that's the seaweed sanctum. You don't go here. It's somewhere similar. It's not there. That big one, you have to enter a code. We think we need ice eggs for. I'm going to actually try this code now. So, it seems like it's Okay. So it's a so it's a weird uh, magnet-like thing. And then it's like a swirly thing. No, it's not. So it's that. And then what was it? Then it's a T, and then a triangle, and then a. It's that thing. There. A triangle, and then a weird thing. Then what was it? A magnet, and then a T. Shoot it! There we go. We got it. All right, and then we go here. And then up here. Temple of the Fishes. Hello there! Chris! Not a big like if you ask me. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? Sounds fascinating. Yes. 
right. But now we could just stay here. <coughs> and it's recommended to use normal legs here. And then you just... There you go. And you just aim like this, and then... And you, you just gotta shoot these fish right here. And with the homing eggs, this is very easy. Because they'll home in on the fish. Where are the other fish? There he is. You just gotta keep shooting the fishes. Because they deserve a death from the egg. Yeah, and if the fishes go to him, it'll, it will bite him, and then you'll fail this mission. Get him! There we go. I like how he's wearing a, a UK uh, underwear. He's wearing UK shorts. That's so funny. And he's got a Game Boy camera and a Game Boy Color. Oh, a Jiggy. Nice. Let's get that jiggy then. We've got a jiggy. We've got 32 jiggies. And then. Uh, right, this thing. We need to go in there. There we go. So then we get a move for Kazooie here. Oh no, I think it's. No, it's for both. But it is Kazooie based. Electric eel flare. Oh. We go up here. We go up here. Then we just put jam jars here. And then we get the Talon Torpedo. So when you're underwater, you can use Kazooie as a torpedo. It's kind of cool. I can show off how it works because you'll need this quite a few times in the game. You need it to get one of the Jinjos, a Jinjo in Spiral Mountain as well. As well as to go into the wasteland of uh, uh, Ilo Hags. So you go here. So, three torpedo pad. And then boom. And I think you press B to cancel. And it's so cool. Do, do. Right, and then here, the ancient swimming baths. We have these guys. And they're like pirates. And then I think you get a move for Banjo here. I think you do, I don't know. Oh no, uh, no, you don't. Uh, you get, like, uh, I think it's a cheater page you get here. Yeah, there's a cheater page right down there. You'll need Banjo for it. It's recommended to use the double jump thing. I guess you could also use um, Kazooie later in the game when you get one of her moves, but but this is how most people do it. They just go up here and then boom, there we go. All right, let's kill him. Oh god damn you! And need the energy comb. There we go. There we go. Alright. And then that is a Minjo there. I think it's a Minjo, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So, so there's nothing here. Besides the Cheetah page, there's nothing else here. Well, there is a honeycomb hive there, but still. Alright, so we can just get out of here. Okay. Now let's go back to... Uh, the beginning part. Uh, 
let's try and swim for it here and not uh, freeze him this time. Nah, still taking damage. Oh, three hits. Oh, there we go. Is this thing right here? Use the, the torpedo here and then go in here. We're in a UFO. Inside the UFO. And this is where you need the ice eggs to shoot these things. Power it up. Oh, you have the crystals quickly. Alright. I'm gonna do this very fast. There we go. One more. There we go. Thank you. Earthling Bam Bird. Now please exit our ship. As we need to leave, we are late for dinner. Uh, any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that now. Go! Right, we gotta leave. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Where's the exit? There it is. Just gotta get out of here. There we go. Out the UFO we go. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. <sighs> Possibly. And goodbye UFO. And then we can get that Chiggy. I'm just going to use Torpedo Kazooie here. So then I don't have to... Wait, what? Come on, get the Jiggy right here. There we go. Okay. Now... Let's go this way now. What could be this way? Because there are a lot of paths in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This take us. Smuggler's Cavern. Oh yeah, this is the uh Right, so you need so you have these fish things that if you swim through them quickly, you can get things. So this one has a cheetah page. So you gotta go through that. There we go, we got it. I think there's another thing we can see what you can get here. Yeah, this. There we go. Got two things in one. And it's best to do it like that as well because you do lose feathers when doing this. So you got to be careful on that as well. And I think here, we use the ice eggs, the water supply to Grinty Industries. Uh, that's interesting. I believe this takes us to another world. Where? Well, it's just a black ginger in the basement again. Nothing else we could do here. We have to freeze these again. Wait, what? You can use because we can fly. Could go through these. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's so cool. If anyone else didn't know that, then I guess I discovered it. All right. Uh, now we're done in, in this part for now. Is there any other way out? Because I know the top leads back to the um, um, the Jolly Roger Lagoon shop area. So if I can find another place, that would be amazing. Get these other ice eggs there. Nah, we'll go back down here then. <laughs> right, let's go back to the Atlantis area. I guess I'll have the ice eggs enabled now to freeze this octopus. Right, there we go. 
Alright, there we go. There's two paths we can take. Now, I believe one of them uh, has like a sunken ship. And the other leads us to Wombus Wigwam. I think this way is Wombus Wigwam. Let me just check. Yeah, it's Wombus Wigwam, this. We can find a Globo here. Along with another secret, I believe. Yep. Jiggy. Oh, and I missed it. <laughs> Don't matter. I guess I'll try and get it again. Go from here so then I don't have to swim in there myself. Okay. Come on. Change the camera. Then. Got it! There we go! Need more air. Now we'll go this way. I guess I'll get more eggs as well. There we go. Got more eggs. No, I didn't need that. Right, but I think there is something we need Kazooie to go through anyway, so... We'll just... Try it then. Yeah, this is the sunken ship. Okay. I was right. And I think that treasure chest there is another thing. No, it isn't. Okay. But we got that at least. There we go, let's freeze him. And then, I need, and then we need to go on top of the ship first because that's where the other warp pad is. So, so we can always warp here. Right. Right. I believe we use a grenade egg to open this. Yeah, we do. I don't know if... Oh, it's a white ginger! That means we get a jiggy straight away. In the ginger village again. And you'll likely get your first Ilo Hags jiggy. Not not the King Jingling one, but for the gingos. It's likely the one. You, I'm grateful for your help. I thought I'd never find my way home. Take this chicken for your trouble. Yeah. So it's most likely the white Jinjo you'll get first. Because there's only one white Jinjo. It must be a lonely one then. Alright, something else that way. But first, let's go here. I believe this is the Jinjo from Glitter Gulch Mine we can get. Yes, it is. Oh! I still had the grenade eggs labeled. Enabled. God. Got to switch. Alright, we'll just swim through here. Do another thing here. Look, get out of the way. Then. There's a brown ginger. In fact, I need more eggs. Alright. Got that! Not so quick. So then. We're pretty much done with these pipe areas, so... Get out of my way! Alright, now there's this way to go from the ship. Then this area. Sea bottom, so... This is like... Where the boss is located, I believe. I'm dead. I knew it. Oh, and we start back here? Are you serious? We lost a lot of eggs there. That's fine, though. we we'll get more in the moment. Uh, get out of my way. Alright. Get out of my way. Alright, alright. There we go. I definitely need more ice eggs. Get more there, there we go. Got a few more. Right, we're definitely gonna go through this now. There we go. And 
And I believe... Uh, which, which room is this one? Oh, there's another fish there. Oh, it's holding eggs, though. Oh, this is the locker room. Okay. And the locker we've got to find... Uh, has to say D. Jones on it, so a reference to Davy Jones. It's like, I think it's a Pirates of the Caribbean character, I believe? Oh, there's a honeycomb piece here as well! Something else down there that we'll go to later. Now, we're not going to go into the Davy Jones docker locker yet. Uh, we're going to go there later. For now, I'll find another octopus here. Come on. There we go. Okay. I believe this area also has a fish that carries an item. But there's also a massive fish here as well, which we need grenade eggs for, so... Yeah, it's right here. It's this fish here. You gotta shoot his teeth. Remember that uh, Jolly's partner is inside a fish been eaten? Well, this is the fish. And I wonder what his partner is. Is it like his girlfriend or something? Ah, oh, I ran out of grenade eggs. Oh, God damn it. Well, we can get this. Oh, it's just feathers in there. I need to see what else there is here. That is weird swimming. Now, I need more eggs. Uh, what's from up here, anyway? Oh, there is more grenade eggs here. Right. I'm gonna wait. There we go. Got tons more. Then, I'm gonna wait for this fish. I'm gonna aim at the teeth right there. No. Almost. Got it! Right, and then you can go inside the fish's mouth. So we gotta somehow get in there. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Come on! Eat me! Eat me! Eat me! There we go. And then, we're inside the big fish. Big boy. And it's this way. It's where you find his partner. Oh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out in one of those blubber wave races when, when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. This fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. I shall be happy out at the end, and Jolly will be needing some. Any chance of a G? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. <laughs> Okay then. Alright, so I need more feathers. Especially for later. We don't need more gold feathers. We don't really use gold feathers that often in this game anyway. So they're almost pointless. So and I believe there's a Jinjo here. Yeah, it's a red Jinjo! We need one more red Jinjo and then we got them all. It's very nice. Whoa! Nope. Go away. Oh, no. We're not collecting that. Alright. Come on. Uh, let's go under here. And then... We can... We're out of the fish already. At the sea bottom still. Still get those if we want. Um... Let's go back to the warp pad because I thought for the boss we use a transformation for it because the transformation also works because if not then you'll have to use grenade eggs which will be wasting a lot. So where where is this warp pad? It's right there. Okay. Can we actually get? No, we cannot. That's unfortunate. So we just gotta go here. No. No, not next to it. 
In fact, we'll actually get that uh, Jiggy from Jolly Roger first. So then... Go up to him. Thanks for this human button. Ain't nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about I take the finest ginger beer on this? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modern thing that you said. It's just a Jiggy. It's just a golden Jiggy. Alright, no. And this is what happens if you explode this door. Well, really? That was a brand new door. Have you had any idea how much they cost these days? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's what happens if you destroy the door, but we've paid for it anyway, so... I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we need to go back to Atlantis uh, for the new... Um, for the transformation. Right, I need... Well, I actually needed more uh, blue eggs anyway. Um, right, this way was Humble Wumba. There's also the sea, san uh, the sea sanctuary I'll need to do as well. I guess I'll do that after the boss. Um, and besides the boss, is there any... Is there, and ov obviously the pigs, but we have to... But we have to get that way later in the game. There's one more ginger. I know where that ginger is, though. And there's two jiggies we get in the, uh, the, the locker room area. There's a mini game, and then the boss, of course. So up here... Humble Wombas, thingy my jig. Then we get a glow. Oh, 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 you have to give the Wumba. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Sure, we'll just throw it in. And then we just, just swim in here now. Just swim in there. And we're a submarine. Oh my god, and we, and we, and we have yellow at the back. That means we are in. Yellow submarine, yellow submarine. No, no, just kidding. All right. Um. So, the submarine obviously has infinite air because obviously it's a submarine. Uh, can you move? Okay. And you can walk to any area apart from the um, apart from the first location, of course, the entrance. Because obviously, a submarine cannot be out of water, of course. So. You see from that. Submarines can work too well on ground. I think it said there. We'll do this mini game first, and then we shoot these missile things. So you can use these missiles. You can use them in first person as well. So yeah. We'll do this mini game. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points. Do you need instructions? No. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! Alright. Alright, and we'll just shoot these things. I don't know if... I don't... Yeah, they do home on them, so... Let me just... Yeah, they do, so... So you just gotta shoot these, and you gotta get 60 points or more. So... It's very easy, this. So... Alright, just gonna... Yeah. Getting a lot of points here. Go. It's got a lot here. All right, we're just getting. Whoa, we're almost getting to a hundred. Are we gonna get a hundred? Seriously? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we got over a hundred. Yeah, hundred and six. You luckily scored enough points to win my prize. It's just another cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Right. And we don't need to play this again, so the cheeky is around here. It's right there. Do you want to play again? No, we do not. And, and no, you don't get a Cheeto page here. So, yeah. Let's go to uh, Davy Jones' locker then. Where is it? 
And fun fact, I think uh, it is random what locker it is. Some, so sometimes it might be there, sometimes it might be somewhere else. There is one locker where you can glitch through to go there without opening up, which is weird. So we're in Davy Jones' locker. Hey, Banjo! I can see a jiggy down there! Let's take a look! Nope! It is a fish, and his name is Lord Wu Fak Fak. Self important sugar fish? What? He did it a Lord Wu Fak Fak while I sleep in his impending crab locker! Oh, uh, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't mind me, you ain't going to steal my TV and take my home, leaving me to flap and passionately around on the bottom until I shrivel up and die. Something like that. Then the watering grave will eat you. So what you're going to do here, and yeah, if you press uh, the X button on Xbox or the B button, then you'll have like a sonar, like, noise. You're going to shoot, um... You gotta shoot his like pimple things that he has. And you gotta find the flashing ones. And the flashing ones deal damage. So you gotta find them. So it's similar to Mr. Patch, but slightly harder. Yeah, you gotta find those flashing yellow ones. Come on. This is much easier with the submarine because you have infinite ammo. My place is balloons! Oh, they're boils. Okay. Okay. We almost got there. We're just gonna get that right here. And if you're lucky enough, it could appear on the same side. Oh, like this one there. You can get that one now. There we go. Oh, and then he'll face us, and then... Okay, come on. Get out of my way. Uh, get out of his face. There we go. Surprisingly, you don't take damage when you touch him, but when you touch your own explosions, you do. Come on. Don't think I got him there. Come on, get out of my way. I can't see... I forgot where it was. It's this side. Got him! There we go. Just shot his pimple things. Where's the other? Alright, it's right there. There's the last one. But that doesn't mean he's dead. There's more to the fight. Come on. There we go. Then. You'll look in his eyes. Keep me a poor blind fish. And I tell him to open my eyes to see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta shoot his eyes. Six times. There we go. Yeah, please, not my eyes! I don't care. Just keep shooting his eyes. Come on. There we go. Come on, get his eyes. There we go. Then one more hit. One more hit. And there we go. He's a dead fish now. Oh, God. Curses! Things seem to have gone belly up! 100 years of ocean of years of and I did again! And you get a jiggy from his light thing in the jig. Oh, God. I feel bad for Fak Fak now. <laughs> yeah, and that is his name. It, it's not swearing or anything, I guess. It's not dropping. It's not like a banjo game is now dropping the f bomb. Finally, finally. All right. Now I believe that is everything we can do here. Like there are a few more jiggies in that here. 
Oh, yeah, there's one more Jinjo in the uh, Sanctuary thing, but... I think for the Jiggies, that's all we can get for now. But there's one from there's one from the pigs we need to get. But we have to get that later in the game. And then another one we also have to get later. So we're pretty much done here now. Which is nice. Okay. Uh, let's go to Atlantis so we can transform back. In fact, the quickest way, we'll just commit suicide, I guess. And we explode. <laughs> so then we automatically go back to Humber's tent. So then we can go in there. Get in there! And then just swim in here. And then we don't really need it. The sonar is completely useless. Right. I don't know if you can use... I don't know if it's useful in this game. Because it didn't seem like it to me. Maybe it is, but I don't really know too much. <coughs> oh boy. Right, now for the seaweed sanctuary, and then we are we are completely done with this uh, world at this point. So, like, because there is a Jinjo in the seaweed sanctuary. And there was, I think it's this side. Yeah, it's here. It's right here. And what I can do to exit the stage quickly is to, like, die quickly. Or if I find a warp pack, then just warp out. So there is a Jinjo here. And I've beaten this one quicker than uh, Witchy World, I think. I think I did anyway, I don't know. Alright. Then we have to go this side. And I believe the Jinjo is like the, the highest point. Right, I don't think it's this side. Uh, it's the other side, I believe. Um, yeah, it's there. I see it. It's a red Jinjo. Oh, that means we're going to get a Jiggy. Because our last red Jinjo. Yeah, there we go. The red Jinjo family is complete. They'd like to give me... They'd like to hand you this. Right. I want to get out quickly, so I'm just going to die. We died in a sanctuary. And then we should... Oh, we... Back in this part. Okay. Oh, I thought we would be back at the entrance. Well, I guess there is, I guess we do go back to the beginning part anyway here, so... I guess it don't really matter. Get out of my way! Oh my god. But besides those two jiggies that we cannot get yet, we are... We are done with Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Uh, and of course there is another secret, but that is later. Oh, we're in the uh, ship, but there is a warp pad anyway, so I guess I'll get more ice eggs as well. I need more eggs as well. There we go. Uh, just get more. Get more grenade eggs. There we go. So I need a lot of eggs for like next playthrough in that. Okay. Right here. Let's go back to town center and then... We don't need to go in the shops again, so... We're done with Jolly Roger's Lagoon. In under an hour. Which usually, it takes people hour, uh, an hour, uh, like an hour and that to finish uh, Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Still, whoa! And also, with the ice eggs, you can also freeze enemies. Just like that. Which is cool. And then you can kill them. Just like that. That's so cool. Now for the next part of the game. We need to go back to the Pine Grove. And then. Do the swimming right here. I guess I'll need more ice eggs. Yeah. I'll get more blue eggs as well. And there we go. And we'll get Kazooie here. And then. Boom. If you try to leave here, you cannot. You have to use Banjo. So then we can go here. And then here. Inside another digger tunnel. And you hear, recognize that noise? We fight Klongo again. 
except he looks all messed up here. Klungo, revenge seeking minion. Oh, not you again. <laughs> Mistress said Klungo must stop you or I'll get more beatings. We'll give you a beating too. No, Klungo, with this time, has new potions to try. Now, what potion is he going to do this time? Because it is random. The green one. So I think the green one, he turns invinci invisible. Yeah, he's invisible. But you can still I can, but you can still attack him once you see him, so very easy. So you can just finish him quick. And then there we go. Then just there we go. He's very easy. Yeah, but the potions are random, so per se foul. But most of the time, you would get, like, Big Klungo first, and then Invisible One, and then something else later on. Bear Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? Klungo return for more beatings. Then work on new potion. Okay. And when you go through this area again, you don't have to enter this cave again. Because the Digger Tunnels are only visible once only, just to fight Klungo. And then, once you've entered them, they're gone. So now, our last egg here we can get... The Clockwork Kazooie Eggs. These ones are very unique. Uh, so... What, uh, so what do these eggs do? You only get one from these things this time. Is let's go up here, for example. Uh, let's get these notes. And then we go up here. We have a little Kazooie! So, well, that's a Minjo. And then you press the X or B button to then explode. And you can kill enemies with it as well. So, that is kind of cool. Right, and then these are where the last notes are. So, the last notes are behind here. Then we got every note in um, ILO hacks. And we just need all the Jinjos. All the Jiggies. Because all the jig the ILO hacks Jiggies uh, ca uh, classes as the Jinjos you get. So, we got every single Jiggy in ILO hacks now. So, we don't need to uh, worry about. Uh, so, we can. So, just the two zeros at the end means we all have all of them now. So. Which is useful. Right, a few more things we'll do before we end the video off. We'll go to this dinosaur thing in the next video. We'll go back to the wooded hollow to do, of course, another jiggy thingy. We got enough jiggies here, so. do this jiggy puzzle. It's like a fireplace now. And remember that place in the cliff top that we opened where we pressed the switch? This is where it leads to. Uh, to this world. So it's like a fire world. It's also an ice world as well. So... There we go. 66 seconds left. Alright. There we go. Alright, back in Jiggy Wiggy Temple. Jiggy Wiggy 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 Temple. They're back in the cliff top, yep. And then it's there. Just right there. It's where you open the new area. There we go. And it explodes. And it explodes like that. And then we can go in there. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge eight. Alright, 
So now, we'll do a few more things before we end the video off. First, we'll go back to Spiral Mountain to get a Jinjo. Because um, there is a Jinjo that we can get in Spiral Mountain. Okay. Alright, we'll just uh, go and grab the Jinjo now. It's in Spiral Mountain. And then I think I'll end the video off after we get this Jinjo. So... Alright, so we need the Kazooie Torpedo thing, then as we get the Jinjo, I'll pause and then I will end the video off. <laughs> Whoa! We got the Jinjo uh, without the animation, that's cool. That's very cool indeed. What's, what's our totals? Oh god. So it said 6 out of 7 or something? No, 4 out of 7. Like... Alright, there we go. So, we got the Jinjo. So, that'll be it for today, guys. So, next time on Banjo-Tooie, we'll tackle the next world and uh, progress through the game. So, well, 50-50. The Jolly Roger Bay, that's cool. So, I shall see you guys next time. Video Game Jam Poopers out. See you guys next time. Bye!